Hello everybody, in this Rhino Grasshopper video, I would like to present to you a grasshopper definition that I have created that can be used to create circular wave-like patterns on a mesh using two points. You are free to download the definition by clicking on the link that is below this video and you are also free to make modifications to it to suit your intended purpose. Okay, let's start to look at how we can use this definition. In order to be able to create a mesh form from this um, definition, we need to have uh, three inputs, namely a base surface and two points. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a surface from this curve using the extrude function. Okay, so I'm going to extrude this to create a basic extruded surface, and then I'm going to make two points using the point command. Okay. Okay, something like that. The points do not necessarily have to fall onto the surface. They can be uh, near it. Okay? Either by being below or above it. Okay? So now uh, let's associate this uh, base surface to our corresponding Rhino extruded surface. Okay? Something like that. And then do the same for the point. Okay? So this ripple center one I'm going to associate it to the first point, okay? As you can see, the first set of waves has been created, okay? Let's um, do the same for the ripple center 2. Right mouse click, set one point and associate it to the next point, okay? Yep. And you can see that um, the initial form has been created okay and now let's uh, look at some of the parameters that can be used to refine and tweak the form okay over here we have the resolution which is used to control the density of the mesh that is uh, being created okay uh, as i mentioned the this script outputs to a mesh okay and if you like to uh, create nerves object you might want to use uh, additional further processes to generate nerve surface from the mesh object which will not be covered in this video okay over here uh, you notice that there are actually like two two sections here. Okay, uh, the top one pertains to the first wave and the second one pertains to the second wave. Okay, so in each section, we can control the location of the, the center by simply adjusting the position of the corresponding point. Okay, as can be shown over here. And you can also change the scale of the wave by playing with this value, okay? So you can see if I bring the value down, there is a less wave uh, over here, okay? And if I bring it up, you can see uh, it's more wavy, okay? And over here, we also have the wave fall off, okay? The wave fall off basically controls the flattening of the of the wave as it uh, goes further from its center okay so uh, let me um, bring the wave to scale down to zero so that you can see that the wave fall off over here controls the fall off okay so for example let's say if I were to play with uh, this uh, position the way fall off changes okay you can also change things like the graph type to even uh, modify the the fall off further okay but I'm not going to do that okay 
So let's uh, bring this back. Okay. The default uh, fall off is uh, made in such a way that it will gradually uh, flatten off okay, from the center. Okay. And in the ripple center 2 over here, we have the same type of uh, parameters. Okay. So um, let's bring this up, okay, the scale, and you can see that. We can see the the other uh, wave appearing. Okay. Okay. In a similar fashion, if you want to change the location, you can also. Uh, select the other point and then move it to its new location and you can see that yep the the the, the wave uh, location will correspondingly be updated okay yep okay over here we have um the overall wave height control. Okay, basically this controls the overall height of of uh, the two waves. Okay, so if you were to increase this, you can see that yeah, the waves height uh, for both of them will be increased. Okay, if we bring this down, uh, both of them will be decreased. Okay, so yeah, maybe I think I want to set um, this this wave to be slightly higher. And stronger than the other one, okay. Yeah, you can see. Uh, by doing that, we can see that uh, this wave is actually made stronger than 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 the other one. Okay, let's say we are done with the setting. Um, you can go to the output mesh section to output your uh, result as a mesh. To do that, simply uh, right mouse click over this um, component and do a bit. Okay, and this will output the result as a mesh object. Okay. okay with that, I come to the end of uh, this uh, video. Hope that this definition will be of use to you. And if you think that it might be um, useful for others as well, I would appreciate if you were to share these uh, videos with uh, others okay with that i come to the end of this uh, demo see you around bye